Kevin recently got the new Garmin Zero A1i Pro Bow Sight, and Patrick from Garmin is going to help him get set up. So I've got my new, new bow sight here. Yep. So the new Zero. Um, and I put it on here. I've got it calibrated at 20, 30, and 40, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm dead on. And you were talking about doing the, the, the actual let the bow do the, let the, let the sight do the calibrating. So we're going to reset this thing and uh, have them... Uh, have the site take it for me. Right, yeah, so you basically got two forms of calibration with these sites. You got your manual calibration, which is where you're going in increments of 10 yards, so 20, 30, 40, 50 out to your max range. Okay. Or your second version is a auto calibration where we're basically taking a point in space at 20 yards and a point in space downrange at 40 or 50, comparing those two and we're auto calibrating the rest of your profile for you. So it's taking the speed of the arrow, which we're gonna use a chronograph. It's gonna yep. take the speed of the arrow and then we're gonna measure those distances and then it's just gonna lay out my all my pins. Right, we're gonna give it a few in, a few bits of information here and we'll have you rocking and rolling in no time. We've chronographed your arrow. Mm -hmm. We figured out it's 283. Mm -hmm. We skipped past our 10 yard portion of the setup and right. we're at 20 yards. So we ranged and we got 20 yards on your site. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and say yes, use the 20 yard range. All right, okay. and now we are ready to shoot. All right, let's so shoot. So assuming that we're shooting good here at 20, which we should be based on your previous calculations. The manual setup. Right. Um, if we're good at 20, we can go ahead and skip right out to the auto calibration at 40, 50, okay. and we should be good to go. So basically, if I hit the bull, or real close to the bull, then we're ready to just do the, right. Right. the fancy sight stuff. Let the sight do the work, huh? It's pretty I'd close. That's pretty good. Yeah. We're good at 20 yards. Mm -hmm. Your reticle look good. We're gonna go straight out to the furthest distance you're comfortable shooting. Okay. So that can be a minimum of 40, but it could be all the way out to 80 if you feel comfortable. That's really up to I think you. I like 40. Okay. We'll start with 40 and then we'll move to shooting coke cans at 50. That and sounds great. That all sounds right, so, great. So do I just hit? Yep, so we'll go ahead and say okay. Okay. Did it hit the bullseye? We're gonna say yes. Yes. Aligning the reticle. So the reason that we're going to breeze right past this is because we already we're did this the last time we set it up. We yeah. reset the site. All we're doing here is just confirming that we're still good. We confirmed at 20 yards we're still hitting okay, and you confirm that your reticle still looks good. And so since we did, even though it says start, we're just going to, if yep. I hit okay, it's going to yep. say, okay, you yep. must have it done. Right. Okay. So hit it again, right? Yep. That's and we'll just kind of breeze through this point draw, until we it did hit. all this. Yeah. Yep. We did all that. That's cool that it shows you what you're supposed to be looking for. Right. Okay, and we did all that. We're already set. Hit okay. it one more time. It's going to ask us if we're done. We'll scroll over, hit done. Now, okay, calibrating the pin stack. So, calibrating the pin stack, what we're doing here is we're providing a little bit of additional information for this site to calibrate a pin out to our farthest range that we're comfortable shooting. So we're going to go ahead and shoot at 40 yards. Okay. We're going to enter some information in here and that's going to give us a good starting point. Okay. We're going to make adjustments from there electronically. Okay. okay. The first measurement is going to be from the back of this green ring. For this instance, we're going to use this arrow to the very front of your riser. So we're going to oh. go ahead and measure this distance right here. Okay. That'll be our first measurement. Our second measurement will be from the bottom of this green ring here to the top of a knocked arrow with your rest in the upward yeah. position. Okay. okay. So it's going to ask us, do we want to auto calibrate using the arrow speed that we entered at the beginning of this process? We're going to go Which ahead and say do. yes. Yeah. Measure the site. Okay, so we're going to do lengths. yes on that yep. one, right? Yep. Okay, measure the length between the ring and the grip. Yep, so this is kind of giving I just you... I just keep hitting okay, right? Yep, this will just walk you through kind of those measurements that we just took. Okay. Um, right and, here. Yep, so we're going to go to four and three quarters inches. Oh, four, seven, five, right? Yep. Then we're going to measure the other one, the inch yep. and a half. That shows us kind of a deal. Yep. Okay. And then we're going I'm to enter. Standard, okay. standard diameter. Okay. Yep, and we're going to so go I ahead and start one more time. And yep. So this is basically telling us go to the furthest range you're comfortable shooting. We're going to go ahead and just do 40 yards. Okay. 
So we're just shooting here at 40 yards. It's given us a baseline pin based on the information that we entered. Okay. We'll shoot, we'll see where we're at, and we'll make adjustments if needed. Okay. Low. It's a little low. I usually like to shoot two Let's or shoot three. Shoot a couple on yeah. that, yeah. Two or three just to kind of... That's kinda... out there enough that right. my wiggle is going to be in that. Yep, yep, absolutely. That yeah. one felt better, and I, I, I'm left and right, but I'm at the same yeah. distance in the drop. Our elevation looks looks great in terms of consistency. Yeah. Yep. It's just that little bit of wiggle at 40 yards. Yeah. So. Which, and so, so we want to lift say, about it seven inches, six, at seven. At least, I don't have a dollar bill on me. I'd say that's at least six inches, if not seven. Let's start with six, and we'll see where we're at. Okay. That's low yep. by about six inches, is what we're going to say. Perfect. Range pin is adjusted. Easy as that. We're going to yep. go. We're ready to shoot again. All right. That's the group it should look like. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Much. See, I'd take a picture of that one. Yeah. So that, see when it settled down, you know, right. it, I mean. And a 10, 15 mile an hour wind coming, blowing yeah, left. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to adjust my left and right yep. because of the wind. So we'll go ahead and we'll say, yes, we hit the bullseye. Okay. Set of complete up to 70 yards. So my yep. max distance is 70 yards. Correct. That's cool. So we're set. We're like set. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Other than I got to practice a lot. We're, but but we're, we're pretty much ranged. We're, we're set. We're <laughs> set here. We entered our chronograph speed. We skipped right past the 20 yard and reticle adjustments. We didn't need to do anything there. Yeah. We validated out at 40 yards. We started hitting good. Um, and we are all set. Our profile is complete. It's that easy. Well, thank you very much. That's, Absolutely. I'm impressed. I mean, you know, I had the first sight and, you know, we walked it through, but we, I, because of the first sight, I did everything manually on the new site. Absolutely. Um, but now it's like, I'll let, I'll let the computer. Oh yeah. Care, but... Let the computer do the work <laughs> for you and all these slew of new features. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's really an improvement over the older A1i.